doing um, 4,000 meters today, 2.4 miles. This is what you mean when you're training for an Ironman. But here's the reason why. Oh! Oh! 10% <laughs> work, and about 90% fun. Good morning. <laughs> James Lawrence's fourth, I believe, 100. And get ready for mine. So I came to test the waters, literally. Test the waters. Full length is on 4,000 meters today, 2.4 miles. Look at him. Look at him go. full swim length of an Ironman, so 3,900 meters, I believe. Finished it, first time ever finished the whole thing, but I'm not doing the, the bike and the run today, just to swim. So, just want to use this pool, doing it with James, so it felt really good. They wrapped this, they wrapped this whole car, look at this thing. Yes, I love it. Now we go to McDonald's. Now we go crush McDonald's. Wanna go, Brad? Heck yeah. Let's go, dude. What you get, bro? I got a biscuit and a couple of hash browns. This is what you eat when you train for an Ironman. But here's the reason why. This is the VIP card, baby. I get free McDonald's in most locations here in Utah. <laughs> this is our addition, Micah. <laughs> Little baby Micah. Not to be make, mistaken for a boy like half the people that meet her do. <laughs> but this is little baby Micah, three and a half months old. And that's her mom. I'm Maddie. I'm the mom of Micah and wife of the Mitch Matthews. She doesn't like to be on camera very much. <laughs> she doesn't love it. <laughs> little camera shy. Her though, on the other hand. She's my little twin. Can you smile? Smile. Give it a smile. Don't stare at mom. <laughs> Focus on the camera. It's my little football. For a church podcast, is this is this too funk for a church a podcast? Bit, but it's fine. It's quite fine, right? It's okay. I, I'm typically always underdressed or off dressed for what everyone has, so it should be alright. I'm so rough with her. Maddie hates it. He's not too bad, but of course, like anyone who can hold her besides me, I'm like, oh my gosh. We really healthy around here too. Oh yeah, super healthy. <laughs> I brought Maddie McDonald's back today. <laughs> After I had McDonald's. You gotta love McDonald's though. McDonald's breakfast is the best. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh,
come in. We're your four in the business. We finally built uh, a little spot of our own. So let's check it out. So this is the uh, little lobby area. You can see here our anthem sign, but in bed in this is a lot of things that, that we believe in. Um, the offices, where we started that, um, really everything that we're about is on that board. It's just a little, little taste of who we are as we walk in the building. This right here is our conference room. Super cool little space. It's got a good little overlook into uh, the surprise that I'll divulge later. But super cool spot. This right here behind you is, is my office. Super cool little spot. That little sign in the back, that little anthem sign was our, it was our very first ever anthem sign. It was a little like foam sign we had in our first office in Atlanta, Georgia. But we brought it out here and uh, I wanted to keep it. Let's go. Oh, by the way, this. This is probably my favorite piece of art in my room. It's my life in weeks. So this company ships you a poster board with the weeks that you've already lived marked out off in black. So those white boxes are about what I have left to live. Hopefully it gets down here to the very, very bottom. That's what I've already lived. So I want this facing my desk. Just as a reminder every single day, I'm already gonna die, so live it up. But what you'll notice about this building is it's about 10% work and about 90% fun. So let's go check out the downstairs. So it is almost, almost done. We are super, super close, but of course, in our building, we're gonna have to have a little mini football field, some turf, of course, the black and white theme. This is our massive training facility. So my former teammate, one of my favorite trainers ever, uh, Jordan Pendleton in Pendleton Performance's business will be training his clients and running his business out of here. So our employees and our salespeople will be able to use it every single day and so will, will his. And we get top line equipment, top of the line, everything. And uh, have him as kind of a corporate coach of ours. So super huge value add to, to wellness. So one thing you'll learn about this building is it's pretty much a wellness center. We just happen to be doing business and happen to be doing pest control upstairs. So this will be a huge gym. You get the rubber over there, the turf, you'll have squat racks here really soon. Super high ceilings and uh, it's off to a super, super good start. A little juice bar action. So once you're with a workout, you gotta, gotta down that protein. So you have the juice bar, uh, put it over there, it looks super, super nice to finish off that workout. This Probably my favorite part of the entire building. In here we have hot tub to get ready for your workout. We also have the infinity pool and the underwater treadmill right here. And then our favorite, super nice infrared sauna. It's a little bit short for me though. It's a little bit, <laughs> I'm in the hunch over here. But this thing just got built, it's gonna be sweet. This right here will be Jordan Pendleton's office where he'll run his business out of. Yeah, this thing really cool right here is this is a podcast in media room. So we'll have a camera set up right here. We'll do videos over here. We, we purposely put in a curved wall over here. As you can see, just for good lighting, good sound, you know, good video. So podcast room for a lot of our sales reps who are starting on podcast. And then just uh, constant content. With probably the best part of this entire building is uh, the multi sport simulator. So, golf simulator, uh, football simulator, I think maybe even hockey, baseball, all, all sorts of sports on here, uh, soccer, super, super cool. So, as I said before, this is a wellness building. We just happen to be doing business, and that's, that's the way uh, that's the way we want it to be. Gosh, what is happening? I don't even know what's happening. I walk into my our headquarters and the alarm goes off. It's never done that before, so we have to take scissors and just cut it. And then I get on my laptop. I get on my laptop for you guys. I know. So you guys owe me. Just kidding. We owe you. 
Hey everyone, and welcome to Doing Good. I am your host, Carmen Herbert, and I am so excited to have on the podcast today, Mitch Matthews. I've always taken the underdog mentality, just because growing up, I, in a lot of ways I was. Um, I, I matured pretty late, and I, I, wasn't actually, I was actually an underdog. And, and I've just kept that mindset throughout my whole entire life, even at times I wasn't an underdog. I mean, I was a starter, I was you know, the future player, I was getting the ball for to me the most in college. I just took that same underdog mentality, which I just think is a, is a, a sharp way to live when, when you're always, when you always think you can, you can do more and accomplish more. Even when you have arrived, so to speak, you get right. that underdog mentality, there's just a lot of fight in you. How did you get that work ethic? Did, have you always had it? Uh, Where did that come? That, that comes, but I think you have to be in the right ecosystem for it to come, right? Like I, okay. if you told me to go work super, super hard in uh, esthetician school, I would be the laziest dude you've ever met, right? I, I, I wouldn't work hard on that because I have no joy. You know, I love that, I enjoy that. I would be super lazy. And like, let's be honest, like the, the podcast is called Doing Good. I, I was very lazy in school to a certain extent, right? I love education. I love learning more than the next person. Um, but school for me, when I was put in, in an exercise science major, you couldn't have carried me to class, right? It was just too, I guess it wasn't for me. Yeah. But if you take me on the football field, it, it, in entrepreneurship and in leadership and in redefining college, which we'll get into, I'm the hardest work I've ever met. So it's gotta align with what you wanna do. Well, yeah. good luck. Thanks so much for taking the time. Sorry it was kind of crazy this morning. No, it's okay. It's my fault. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for working with me. I legit have a headache from not beeping, uh, <laughs> beeping alarm. Uh, podcast was good. It's so funny. I came into it like expecting something totally different. The guy that invited me to be on it wasn't the host, and he for some reason made it seem like it was like a church, you know, religious podcast, and it wasn't at all. But either way, it would be great. But it was uh, I like wasn't mentally prepared, so like I, I can wing it just okay. So it was good though. It's cool. Uh, I have another one tonight. Yeah, I like doing them. I like talking to people. I like getting to know people. But I like sharing my story too. I have a unique story that I think uh, helps a lot of people. So might as well get it out there. It's free. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I got an office tour later with somebody I want to have from workforce, potential salesperson. And then I got another podcast later, and then just a bunch of meetings, just a daily grind. That's it. I don't know what you are. Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. This is where we need to be. This is where we need to be in the first bar of the day. Ooh! Oh. Dang it! Oh! Oh! oh. No! Oh, oh, come on! No. Oh, bro, that's the closest you've gotten. That's the closest you've gotten. Close you got. Dude, it's funny because I did miss a tad right and it actually went oh. that. Well, you did the speed. Dang. You did the speed right. Thousand dollars. One well, that's probably more money than you ever made before, and but that'd be considered a failure to you probably. Heaven forbid you're, you have ten thousand dollars in your pocket and you go back home in five months. It's over. So what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is you don't try this and you go back to an hourly job and play it safe, thinking that that's the right move to make. The right move to make when you're twenty years old. And I can say this with assurance because I've been there. And I deal with a lot of twenty year olds. Is be as risky as possible because there literally isn't a risk. You have no one that, that needs you. Like in terms of a mouth to feed or bills to pay, you got none. So it's a recruiting call. Yeah, so I've probably got five or six days a day. Just potential salespeople that want to come and work for work for Anthem. So just vet them out, see if they'd be a good fit. If they are, try to convince them to come because we're hiring. So just a cool guy. He's got a shot for sure.